Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we've got a chair. Why? Chair yoga, okay? Hear me out. Today, I want to share with you some nice chair yoga poses that'll get you to stretch out, like whether you're in the middle of a class or if you're, you know, at a receptionist's desk or say you work at a computer, whatever you do, these poses like aren't super weird to be suddenly doing. I've seen a few blogs where they want you to do like really weird poses in the chair, like a warrior one, but like on a chair, um, which you can't do um, out in public. So these are realistic yoga poses for the everyday person who just needs to stretch out those shoulders that have been hunched over the desk all day. So here we go. You're firmly sitting in your seat, whatever it may be. It might be bulkier than this. You can make it work, I promise. First one, an upward stretch. Nobody's ever going to question that. If you do it like that, they might question it. Do it in like a regular, you know, like... There you go. Alright, here's the other one. Another simple one. You go up. should feel it in the sides. You'll probably feel it a little in your shoulders. Not too much though. Just like right in here. And then um, keep your spine long. Keep your head up. Almost as if the crown of your head is reaching toward the sky. That'll lengthen your back and stretch out most of it along with the sides of you. Alright? So, I'm not even going to lie. I have a book right here. I wrote all of this down. My favorite, personally. Some people call it a figure Four. Some people call it a pigeon. All you gotta do, cross your leg. Look at that. You're just sitting with your legs crossed. Pretend to reach down for something. You're gonna feel so much of a stretch right, right over in here. Get the other side. All right. Feels great. You feel it over here. Good time. Pretend to reach down for something. Feel it stretch more. Great times. Another favorite of mine, butterfly pose. Now, I wonder if the camera, like the, the audio caught that crap. If you've got bad joints like me, um, you might not be able to do this. It might hurt your hips too much. It might hurt your knees. If you're feeling any pressure, stop. Don't do it. You're going to hurt yourself. Um, I sit like this sometimes, stretches out, you know, both sides. Swap which legs on top. It does make a difference. In case you're wondering, it does. Another fun one for you. Now, if nobody's watching, you can get away with doing the arms as well with the next pose. But if not, you can definitely just do the legs, and you'll notice. A lot of these are leg things, I've noticed. Um, like, there are some arm ones. Um, nothing's going to help you bum unless you get up. So, like, I don't have any tips for that, unfortunately, when it comes to chair yoga. But this one is called chair eagle pose, all right? You wrap your legs, you know, almost as if you had them crossed just a little tight. Go up. Intertwine your arms. You can have the palms touch. I can't, like, exactly. Here we are. Go as much as you can. If you go too hard, though, you're going to pull your shoulder out of the socket. So be careful. Keep it light. If you can only go to here, that's okay. Just go with that. If you can go around, that's okay too. I'm going to do an entire video on how modifications and substitutions are so important. Not everybody's body works the same way. So we do things in different ways to make sure that nobody hurts themselves. Return to center. When you're doing, whenever there's one on top, whichever arm crosses over the top, you're going to be stretching that shoulder more. So to keep that in mind, top arm, that's the shoulder that's going to be dominantly stretched. Next side like this. This is like my less stretchy side, my left. <clears throat> so professional, man. This time, right arm over. So you go up. You want to lengthen, stretch out these sides again, stretch out the spine. Up, inhale, cross, come around and down. 
Make sure you're lengthening your spine more here. Sitting up straight, stretching the back, stretching the legs. It's a good time. Here we are. That's it. That's all I have. It's not a lot. Um, but you don't need a lot. It's not an entire yoga session. If you want a full yoga session, go to class, use an app, whatever works for you, just like going offhand, turning on some music, do that. This is for if you're somebody who's back to back busy, like myself, two jobs, 17 credits at school, I'm always doing something, but I'm not necessarily always moving. And it gets to me because I like to be moving. So if that is how your daily life is, here you go. Life hack. You're welcome.